Thanks for choosing to watch this video. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and leave your comments and share the love. And thanks for watching Valoric TV Boxing Channel. We're just going to talk about PBC and the rumours that it's uh, on its last legs. Now, I don't know how much these rumours are true, and I don't know the ins and outs. And to be honest, I haven't read up too much about the stories about PBC and its business running. From an outsider's point of view, the things I've seen from the outside, it's my personal opinion. I think that PBC has been badly run. And it's the people that are behind the PBC. Now, I was given inside information. This is inside information told that the people behind PBC, the people that do the PR and stuff, haven't got a clue what they're doing. They're people that do PR, but they haven't got a clue about boxing. And in terms of the promotion of boxing, promoting the sport of boxing, it's great to know that it's, there's more boxing across the TV networks. That's a fantastic thing. That's great. Now, the one thing that I think, well, two things have been a problem with PBC is, one, with this new Premier Boxing Champions or channel, have a way you want to look at it, I think that the fighters themselves, A, I believe, in terms of, in today, today's society of social media, it's poor. I think the PBC should have done a lot more to advertise and promote the fighters, i.e. getting them on chat shows, getting them on, um, you know, doing regular interviews and their faces being seen. See, it seems a lot of these fighters get paid so well, they don't seem to, they don't need the need to do interviews. They get paid so well. But the thing is, they're not out there. They're not, they're not getting seen. They're not being, you know, you know, you, you, they get signed and they just go quiet. Now, I don't know if that's part of the contract, that they're exclusive or whatever. But you need, we need to see more of these fighters. Now, you look at UFC, you've got guys like, for example, I look at Conor McGregor. There's a guy there, and there are people in boxing talking about Conor McGregor. The people outside of UFC and MMA talking about Conor McGregor. That's a guy that's well promoted. He's got a big mouth. He's promoting himself. He's selling himself. A lot of the fighters, it seems they come to Al Heyman, they get sucked in this sort of black hole. You don't hear anything about them, about them apart from when they fight. And that surely cannot be any good to them as their profile. To the sport of boxing and and to drawing new fans to the sport no good absolutely no good so when those thoughts come to my mind it's no reason that pbc is a bit of a flop you know so maybe if these fighters weren't getting paid as much and they were told listen you need to start or you know you need to start putting yourselves out there more maybe we'd see more fans tuning to see more, watch more boxing and more Bums on seats. A lot of the fights that PBC have put on, I've heard via Steve Kim and, and his, his post that there have been empty seats, a lot of empty seats in the arena. So while that's going on, people are putting loads of bums in seats to watch UFC fights. Conor McGregor versus um, the guy he fought last and, and uh, um, Rhea, what's the name again? Rousey, Ronda Rousey. You know what I mean? So. This is not great. It's not really great. And uh, yeah, who's the spokesperson for PBC? You don't want to hear somebody talking about PBC with passion and desire. This guy, Al Hayman, you don't see anything about him. Yes, I know he's a man in the back room. But, you know, when you look at, you know, Golden Boy, you see Oscar De La Hoya's face. When you see, um, uh, you know, Matchroom, you see Nelly Hearn. When you see, you know, Box Nation, you'll see Frank Warren. You need to see, PBC needs to be more out there. Their fights need to be more out there. So, Sean Porter and Keith Thurman are fighting. And let's be honest, it's a big fight. But heck, really, outside of, you know, boxing fans, it's not drawing the crowd it should be drawing. Now, had that fight maybe been on, you know, an HBO fight... Oh, I, let, me, let, me, let me take that back. The fight itself, it's a, it's a mouth-watering fight. Sorry, Adam Smith. It's a big fight. But what I'm saying is that, you know, it, it's just... It's just another fight, rather than it being a super fight. Do you understand what I'm saying here? The promotion for the fight is pretty poor, you know, um, and more needs to be put into the sport through social media, through, you know, more uh, more promotion. And I don't think the promotion side of things have been done very well. 
fighters need to be advised more to uh, in terms of their careers and, and, and build themselves up and you know but if you get paid well why bother and I think a lot of these fighters have taken that attitude so that was my thoughts on PBC thing there's probably a lot of things other I've probably missed out on but I think uh, getting bums and seats bringing new, new fans to the sport how do you attract new fans to the sport you know um, those are my thoughts and I will also say just to close Mayweather Pacquiao they did all the saying the nice things when the sponsors were around, do the saying the nice things, don't do anything naughty when you did a press conference, which sucked the whole life out of the actual press conference itself. Two of the greatest fighters in the world coming together, and they sounded like two politicians. And the fight itself was a drab affair. And that brought millions of millions of people who were boxing fans and not boxing fans to watch the sport. And the fight itself probably turned a lot of people off. If this is what boxing is, I'm not interested in it. Whereas Conor McGregor's fight with the, the last guy fought, knocked him out in 30 seconds, must have drawn a lot of people. So just think about that a second. So while boxers may think it's smart and clever to, you know, I'm getting paid by Al Heyman so I can just, I sign with Al Heyman just disappear. You're hurting the sport. And the longevity of yourself, you're hurting yourself as well. And if PBC does fall flat in its face, what will happen with these fighters? Where will they go? You know, and they're not going to get paid the same amount of money. Just a thought. I'm out of here. Take care.